to the game of celebrity gossip, Channel Tales. And now, here's the star of Channel Tales, Bert Condy. Hello there. And welcome to our show. Thank you for tuning us in. We appreciate that. Uh, I also appreciate the people that are in back of me who have been with us the last few days. If you've been watching, I think you've enjoyed yourself enormously. One more time, shall we? Here they are, winning money for the blue section today for the Mandrell Sisters Show, Early Mandrell and Rick Boyer. <laughs> winning money for the yellow section, Maria Grimm and from Mork and Mindy, Conrad Janice. And winning money for the red section, Ann Cullen, and from Blockbusters, Bill Cullen. <laughs> Can anybody whistle through there uh, with the fingers in the mouth? Can anybody do that? No. no. Can you do that, Arlene? This is how I whistle without the fingers. Oh. Huh. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, if you're all ready to go, I am ready to go. We're going to wind this up in a blaze of glory. And Ann said uh, you and, uh, are going to win today, Bill. Uh, we better win. I can whistle with my fingers in my mouth. Can you? Oh, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> this will run right down my sweater. Yes, I saw that. We're going to win today. Here we go, guys. The first question <laughs> is for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to win. Sure, we're going to win. We're the, oh, boy. We're the $150 uh, to it. your <laughs> section. Men. Steady birds. Okay, Steady birds. listen to this. <clears throat> Elsa Maxwell once said, sex is the most tiring thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? Yes or no? <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Elsa Maxwell, eh? Of course, for her, maybe it was. Yes. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> Early, what do you think uh, Rick will say? Does he agree with that? Well, for him, he might. I don't know. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I want to say, I would think that there would be things more tiring. I'd say, no, it's not. He would say, no. <laughs> you grant that it's tiring, but not the most tiring. I don't think the most. No. no. What do you think is the most tiring thing in the world? I would get more tired running 20 miles. Yeah, I would. I'd vote for that in a minute. Absolutely. I don't think there's any contest there. You know. Of course, there's, the only reason that applies is if you're running 20 miles trying to get some sex, and that's tiring. Because <laughs> when you got to chase them, it's not good, you know. Okay, you'll say, he will say, uh, no. Here he comes. Rick, what do you think? I agree with that uh, supposition of Elsa Maxwell's. I think she had it mixed up with relaxed. It's not tiring, it's relaxing. Yes. Uh, I would say, no, it's not tiring. No, that's right. You're right. That's right. <laughs> what do you think, just for fun, is, is one of the most tiring things in the world, Rick? Uh, <laughs> sitting back here waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Maria, what will Conrad say? No, absolutely no, not. No, he doesn't think it's tiring No, he at doesn't. All. No, no, absolutely not. What does he think is tiring? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, nothing seems to tire us right now, yeah. yet. He has boundless energy. I've always yes, said that Yes, he doesn't Conrad. stop. He, stay, he jumps all over the place. Yeah, uh, I get tired quicker than he does. You do? Yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Not, not about that. Here, <laughs> here comes Conrad. <laughs> what did I say? Conrad, do you agree with Elsa Maxwell? I, I think sex with Elsa Maxwell might have been very good. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I don't know how you can say it. You, you get to lie down, you get to sit in the back. I don't see how you can say it's tiring. That's right, you're right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you get to lie down. I'm going to be tiring. Absolutely right. What a perfect logic. Elsa Maxwell was wrong, I think. What do you think Bill will say? I think maybe she meant boring, not tiring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Bill is not going to say it's tiring or boring or anything. No. What tires him out? What, what is he well, like? he starts on exercise program in the summertime of swimming, and oh. he'll do 100 laps in the pool. And, 100 and, laps? And that's, yeah, not all at one time. Oh. <laughs> two in the morning and three in the afternoon. Takes him a week, but he does 100 <laughs> laps. <laughs> but uh, I'd say that's tiring as opposed to... Oh, okay. To that, so. You'll say he says no. He doesn't agree. Oh. Here he comes. <laughs> Bill, do you agree with Elsa Maxwell on, uh, on sex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always cough after. You do. Actually, Bert, as, as the years march by, 
steadily and resolutely, I find I tire more and more easily. For instance, buttoning my pajama tops is tiring. <laughs> Very tiring, yes. My first introduction to sex was 1939. I didn't really feel rested until midway through the Korean conflict. <laughs> By that time, it was too late to do anything about it. I, I hope I don't lose for the red section, and I hope I don't have to go home alone tonight. Yeah. But it is. It uh, truly it's is. Oh, it's oh, I, I never... Oh, it's terrible. Oh. It's good, but it's tiring. Yeah, I, I know. I, maybe oh. Elsa Maxwell knew what she was talking about, El after all. Elsa did. <laughs> Elsa did. Sex I'm... with Elsa Maxwell was... Oh, Very tiring, yes. yes. That's all not right. what Anne said, however. She thought you'd say no, and she was wrong, of course. And Maria and Conrad and Erlene and Rick right. are right. They well, split we're the picking first up question in we twain. Left I will come back in a moment with question number two. Won't you come back to me? Hey, hello. Uh, question number two coming up. Uh, if you're ready to go, uh, I'm ready to go. By golly. If you're ready, guys, our magic genie has a deal for you. Hoo -hoo. He'll give you an extra year at the end of your life, but you have to spend it in solitary confinement in jail. Would you take that deal, yes or no? Get an extra year to live. Off you go. Solitary confinement. Well, you have to be alone, obviously. Um, and confined, obviously. <laughs> I figured that out quick, huh? What do you think, uh, what do you think Conrad will say to this one, Maria? Does he get to keep his horn? Yes, keep his horn? <laughs> I don't know. They may, it would depend if they were generous or not. Well, if he doesn't get to keep his horn, I would say he would say no. But if he gets to keep his horn, he would say maybe yes. He would say maybe yes. For, the, for those, where, uh, Conrad plays the trombone, or the trombone. Uh, and plays it wonderfully, and it's important to him, obviously. Very much so. So you will say what, though? Well, I, since we don't know, I'm going to say no, he would not accept it. He would not accept it. Okay, he, he doesn't care about the extra year. Here he comes. Would you take that extra year, Conrad? Do I get to spend it with Elsa Maxwell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, why not? I'd take it. No, she said no. No? All right. Now, Maria said if you got to keep your horn, you would do it. <laughs> well, was, that's true. That's, that's true. true. It's true again. Yeah, see, you would do two. it. That's interesting. An extra I would. Year... I would ask for an extra year, but I didn't think you would. You would do it in or solitary I, confinement? I would, but then really? I'm never bored with, you know. Well, now, by solitary confinement, I guess it's one room. It's a cell, right? And it's, uh, you're alone, so you don't see anybody. Or, or I wonder if you can see outside, see if we've made it even clearer. <laughs> It'd be but, terrible, yes. What do you think? What would Bill say about this? I, I, I don't think he would. Um... Maybe he'd write a book or something. Maybe he'd enjoy that year all by himself. I don't think so. You think yeah. no? Yeah. Yeah, the guys... That's a terrible thing. Yeah. Say, you think no, huh? No, let's say no. He's going to say yes, but That's I'll right. say no. That's right. The way it's going, huh? I say huh? yes, he's going to say no. Yeah. Okay, you're going to say no. Here he comes. Is that what I said? That's what, I think that's what you said, yes. <laughs> you're getting... uh, Bill, Yes. an extra year added to your life. If you, but you must spend it in solitary confinement. There's one thing to be said for solitary confinement, Bert. What is that? There's nothing in there that'll make me tired. That's true. <laughs> Wake up for the birds, chipper all day. I guess you're not going to believe this. And Ann and I have never talked about anything. Well, I guess we have similar type things. But my, my answer would have to be, what's the point? I would say no. That's I right. That's right. Good. Yeah, that was just go, about Bill. time. <laughs> You could write your book. <laughs> you say, you say, uh, what's the point because of, of... Yeah, it's just a year worrying about all the dumb things you did while you were alive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's time to go, I go. Yeah, right. right, okay. You went and you got it right. Erlene, what will Rick say to this? Well, I think without me around to disagree with him all the time, he'd get too bored. He'd say no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You weren't there. What's the point of it all? No, okay. You say, he'll say no. Here he comes. What will it be, Rick? A year of solitary confinement and one more life, a year of life, or no? I, I, I couldn't live like that. Couldn't live a year without Erlene. That's what she said, and you're right. Oh, you covered yourself with glory. Erlene and Rick and Ann and Bill are right. They split that one in half, and it's halftime, ladies. Kind of yes, the rear. We'll bring the gentleman out front. We'll continue with the second half of Battlefield after this message to you.
guy. Um, we have changed places after half that. You know why you're gone, I always say. We're talking, we're having a good time here, so if you come down the show, you see what goes on during the commercials. Uh, I have the gentleman with me. We have a very close game, fellas. Bill, you and Conrad are tied with $75 each, and, and Rick, you have $150. You're in the lead, but it's very close. Yeah. Okay. You're here. Anyone can win, as we are fond of saying. Or is it anybody? Anybody. Anybody can anybody win. Can win. Yeah. Anyone uh, knows that. <laughs> here we go. Ladies, this is for you. $150. Bucks. Be totally honest. All right? What is more likely to put you in the mood for romance? A look, a word, or a touch? Good question. Think about it. Off you go. <laughs> a look, a word, or a grope? A touch. I'm sorry. It's touch on my card. Uh, we'll start with you, Bill. You're thinking about it pretty hard there. Boy, oh boy. Now, I'm trying to think. Through the years that Ed and I have been married, there have been 26 of them. 26 years. Whether I've scored more with looks, more with words, or more with touches. Hmm. Hmm. Could it be something else besides that? <laughs> yeah, I guess. What I mean, would it I don't be? want to change the rules. Yeah, I was just say, a look, a touch, a word, or whips. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> $20 gold piece on a night table. <laughs> <laughs> a two-way ticket to Niagara Falls. All right. All right. I know Ann, and I'll tell you this. Ann is turned on at a touch. A touch. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, oh, yeah. And before we moved out here, someone would bump her in Bloomingdale's. <laughs> Big trouble. Oh, yeah. But a Big word, trouble. Look, but a touch, yeah. oh boy, you, you have it made first. Sure. Or the touchy, touch toucher has it made. Yeah, that's right. That's that right. old line, you can't go back to the bakery department again. <laughs> uh, somebody, okay, you'll say a touch. Oh, a touch, touch. yeah. Like, wash your hands and make me a malt. That's no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we do punchlines. And come on, before we forget the question. Hello there. And what, uh, in fact, does put you in a romantic mood more, would you say? Boy, this is just for me. It depends on what he says, depends where he touches. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll say a word. No. <laughs> he said a touch. Uh, well. you, even, you even touched on it. You should part the pun right there for a second. Yeah, right. Sorry what's about the, that. What's the word? <laughs> I mean, what? The word is, the word is the please. Word. <laughs> oh, please. I've used, I've used that to stop. <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> nothing ages a guy faster than fun, Bert. <laughs> Rick, what will that even say? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I was trying to think, too. All of them work with Erlene, boy. I, I think probably a touch. A touch, yeah. yeah. You see, that would have weighed very heavily in its favor. We'd said a caress, but we said a touch, so... But you're going to go for that. Yeah. A touch. Here she comes. Arlene, you know your choice is to put you in a more, in a romantic mood, a look, a word, or a touch. Well, at different times, I guess it's always, it's been one or the other. Mm. Uh, but it, to say most of the time, um, a look. No. I Tell her what you said. I'm going to give her a look, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks to pill. <laughs> it seems like it's always been a touch with me, huh? <laughs> oh, with you. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess I didn't hear the question, though. Yeah. <laughs> I told you we'd have fireworks while this was over. We have all three. Uh, don't feel badly, Arlene. Uh, nobody's gotten this right yet. Uh, Maria and Conrad have a shot. What do you think, Conrad? Well, I, I, it's, that's, a, that's a hard one to figure out. Maria is, is very receptive. And I think that uh, the way I have to figure it is that I would look at her first before I talked to her and touched her. So I think <laughs> it would be a look. I'll try a look. I think so. I'll try. Do us, do us a favor. We get a nice big close-up on Conrad and give us a look. That <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> That's it. Well, I just want to see if it turns the bananas on. We'll see. What... Of course, hello turns the bananas on, you know, so. <laughs> okay, you'll say a I look. I will try a look. Okay, here she comes. Maria, uh, you can get the whole thing on this question for the, the yellow section. Which uh, puts you in more of a romantic mood? Would you say a look, a word, or a touch? Well, with Conrad... One from column A, B, or C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I guess I'll have to say a look. That's the one. <laughs> Very well done. Marie and Conrad get the whole thing for the yellow section right there. Forge into the lead. We'll come back. We're going to break that lead in just a minute. We'll come back. Here in a second.
sooner or later you back um this question is worth uh, three hundred dollars and this will decide it got a good close game too watch this oh um, what close game well with one notable exception we do yes <laughs> You've come from behind and, and lost a couple of times. I mean, uh, you've gotten very close, Bill. Uh, That's what I do. I come from behind and touch, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Wait for a word. Okay, you here we go. Listen to this. This one's worth $300. You can still win this, Bill. Okay, Bert, I Absolute, count on you. All you right. can do it. Here I go. Ladies, are you more of a follower or a leader? That's a simple question. Hopefully, we'll get you in trouble with that. Off you go. Uh, uh, there are other implications, I would think. Uh, the, the, the role of women today is, is more aggressive. Uh, the ERA has, has changed women's traditional role quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What do you think Anne will say about herself is what we're after, Bill? Whether Anne is a follower or a leader. Yeah, basically that's a very general term, of course. But Well, you know, anyone who's going to be married to me for any length of time, and I, I mean this seriously, is going to have to tend to follow because, like, I never know where I'm going. <laughs> and, <laughs> truly. And if, if, if Ann were the leader, I couldn't follow her because I'd miss a turn somewhere. I, I just, I do. So I would say Ann has kept up with me for these years, these happy years, and she's done, let me set the pace. So I would say Ann is a follower in the best sense of the word. Yes, in that particular sense. Yes. Relating it to the two of you. To the two of us. Which is interesting. See, now mm -hmm. she, she may not even take it that way. She may think... Oh, well, Ann will level. follow other people. She followed our neighbor home the other night. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I understand. Sure. Oh, yes. Well, that can happen. Right That's the right word. He oh, probably yeah, yeah. touched her. That's and then right. No, Conrad said... <laughs> off they went. So. He knew the word. Uh, our, neighbor, <laughs> our neighbor knew the word. I don't know the word. <laughs> he knew the magic word. <laughs> and went right along. Okay. Four doors up the Here street. Here she comes. We'll find out. Anne, how would you classify yourself? Bill just has to say the word and I follow. That's what he said. Oh, boy. On the button. I see that wasn't so hard. You're on the board. Oh, yeah. Very nicely done. Uh, Erlene will say what, Rick? What do you think? Boy, this, that's difficult now. Uh, she surprised me so many times. I think, she, well, she's changed quite a bit, you know, in, in, the, in the past. She's more of a leader now than she was, but I'll have to say that I think she's a follower. Basically. Yeah, basically. You think she will say that about yeah, herself? Yeah, I think she'll say that. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you sing with your sisters like that, you have, you're really part of a group, so you have to blend. It's yeah. called uh, blending. Maybe she's a blender. That's what I meant. <laughs> Oh, she's not a blender. She's a beautiful girl. Okay, you'll say a follower or a leader. Here she comes. We're asking you to categorize yourself a little bit, Arlene. Would you uh, say you are more of a follower or a leader? It's a hard question when you come from a family and you're the youngest in, of three girls, but I'm going to stray outside of that and say in this life, I think, a leader. No, he said, he said a follower. Rick, are you in trouble? Whoa. <laughs> You're in trouble, Rick. Yep, Boy, I am disgusted in you, Arlene. I'm completely disgusted. No, 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 no. Don't fight, kids. I mean, after all, it's only a game here. I'm, I'm going to let oh, him lead the way home. Do it. <laughs> to me, it's That's a game. Right. To you, it's well, life it's or life death. on the line. That's right. Okay. You see, it is a tough question. It really is a, a, trick, a tricky question. Uh, and you get a chance here uh, to win it, Conrad. What do you think Maria will say? Ah, well, now, um, uh, Maria, Maria is very feminine, and she, she does follow, but I think that in most of her life pursuits, she's a leader, so I'm going to say she's a leader. Yes, because she does a lot of different things, I Yes, know. she does. She's a producer, she's a writer, she's a, an actress, and, mm -hmm. and in those areas, she has to lead. Yes. So I think she will say a leader. Okay. All right. I now, if think. she takes this personally, between the two of you, it could be a different answer. Here she comes. We'll find out. Maria, this will decide the game. If you get this right, you will win it for the bananas. Otherwise, Ann and Bill will come from behind in a flash of glory <laughs> and win it. What do you think? I am definitely a leader. That's what the man said. You got it. Ann and Bill and Maria and Conrad are right. They spent the 300 bucks. But time is up when the banana section wins. We'll come back give the bananas their money. They deserve it. Just a second. The big winners, the bananas today with Marie and Conrad, $375. We'll add 1000 They will divide $1,375 in the banana section. Thank you all. You were all just great. And thank you for watching us on Tata Fair. Bert Connors saying so long. I'll see you the next time. Thanks. Bye. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section selected at random will also receive...
Hamilton Beach is 2 to 12 cup automatic drip coffee maker. Brews coffee, heats water from tea or soup from Hamilton Beach Scoville. And a vanity mirror and larger renews it adjustable air freshener. Lasts 25% longer. Open it a little or a lot. It all depends on the odors you've got. And easy to use 12 inch pre pasted wall covering squares. Dip them in water, slip into place. Tough, washable square squares in 24 colorful patterns. Seven and eight cause you to freeze. But ace 